Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Percussion in the News. Um, today we are talking about some really cool Zildjian ads. So to jump into this first one, um, this one's really neat. This is from the Modesto B, which is uh, in Modesto, California from August 30th, 1929. It says, holds symbol secret, Constantinople. There are symbols and symbols. But all of those noisemakers owe their origin to a family in Samatia, a suburb of this city, which has guarded its secret for several hundred years. The name of the family, Zildjian, means symbol makers. The secret method of making instruments is now held by the head of the clan, a woman more than 80 years old. So I have to remember back to the podcast episode with Paul Francis about Zildjian, but I'm pretty sure that um, this is Aunt Victoria where there was a period where she was the only one who had it. I believe she actually was the reason why then more than one person had the family secret. And um, Mikhail, the cousin Mikhail, got the secret. And I think that trickled down to what later became Sabian. But I believe she then passed it on to Aram Zildjian and um, so on and so on and so on. But at one point, she was the only one who had the family secret. So it's kind of cool to see that. Uh, history actually written up in a newspaper in uh, the Modesto B. Let me read my sheet here. This is from the Boston Globe uh, in 1938. This one's interesting. Let me read it and then we'll talk a little bit more of how this is connected to some drum history that we've heard about before. Um, so it says, investigate theft from Quincy Cruiser. Quincy, November 21st. Special Officer Thomas Fallon of the Quincy Police is investigating the theft of marine equipment stolen from the luxurious cabin cruiser of Armin Zildjian, famous symbol designer from a local yacht yard over the weekend. The equipment included expensive binoculars, a chronometer, and a bronze propeller. The boat had been stored at the yacht yard for the winter. Okay, so this is obviously cool because it includes um, Armin Zildjian in here, but I think what makes this stick out a little bit is because I've heard before that um, his boat, which I believe was called the Mahal, was where he would take drummers like uh, Gene Krupa, Buddy Rich, Joe Jones. He would hang out with these guys um, and his boat was sort of like their like place to go. They're like getaway where they could go and, and do whatever they want, have some drinks, smoke some cigars, I'm sure <laughs> at that time. So hopefully Special Officer Thomas Fallon got to the bottom of it and um, Armin got his binoculars back and stuff like that. So um, next we've got an ad from 1929. Uh, this is from the Indianapolis Star, uh, January 13th, 1929. It says, symbols now made in American factory. Quincy, Mass, January 12th. INS. A local factory has begun the manufacture of Zildjian symbols, the first time that these musical accessories have been made in America. I looked up what INS means, and I think that's Immigration and Naturalization Services because they're immigrating to the country, and um, I guess that had to be included. I'm not really sure, but I think that's what that means. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I want to thank my friend uh, Jerry Ryman, who has put together this awesome book for me, um, which I'm working through called Percussion in the News. Um, and there's lots more to come. I got a new camera, so you, this probably looks a little different. I'll probably still tweak the settings and kind of where I'm looking and all that stuff. But um, anyway, I hope you like this one. Um, be sure to comment below if you like this and maybe some ideas of brands you want to hear about next. And I'll see if I have them. Um, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.